Hey, what's up everybody? Today, Bitcoin has a bullish daily engulfing candle. We're going to talk about it. We got right up here to the resistance. You can see how tight it is right after bouncing off the EMA ribbon, right? And then prior to that off the bull market support band. So it's looking really good. The RSI is looking good. I got all the indicators up here and then also the Lucid SAR, right? You can see we're still underneath right so you can see how the stars are going lower eventually we want to see um, it break out right we want to see that daily star flip to the to the downside um, so so basically how that indicator works is you can see right here we had a nine buy right it came up it flipped the stars to the bottom we pulled back almost into the stars and then we you know continued higher so um, and then it you know flips back and forth um, so you know we want to see that you know flip on the right side so let's zoom in and you can see why well first of all look at this let me take this off we've broken above this downward resistance line so if this was a descending triangle we sure in the hell broke above it. I mean, look at that. That is a beautiful breakout. Now, like I said, typically descending triangles break to the downside. However, the probabilities decrease breaking to the downside if the descending triangle is coming from an uptrend. So you can see we are going up into the triangle, right? As opposed to going down into a triangle. So you can see a bullish engulfing candle breaking above the triangle right in the middle of the apex right so we got to the apex that's important so yeah it's looking really really good um so let's zoom in so that was our descending triangle let's talk about our elliott wave triangle here and see what's going on with that let me get rid of this um so as you can see right the the descending triangle broke out. I can even extend this trend line here and we can still broke out, right? And look at this, we came down, we back tested the downward resistance line looking pretty good. So let me remove all of that and let's talk about our Elliott wave, uh, our contracting triangle. Let's see. Um, so we had an A, we had a B, we had a uh, a C and this could have been D and this could have been E and now we're rolling we're ready to go right we're we're this is it right here so I mean doesn't mean it's today or tomorrow right but it it means this triangle is complete and we're starting our ascent to the upside now we've had one two th three four bullish green four hour candles in a row so i would imagine some type of pullback or consolidation it looks like we're getting that now um so contingent on if this triangle is complete um which you know it's the way it's drawn it looks like it is but we're going to talk about a variation of it very soon but you can see this was a major area right here all of this right here so this resistance uh right here and right here we broke above it you can see even we got rejected there on that nine we came up we had a four hour nine we pulled back into the green dots and then we accelerated and breaking these two tops here so you even have you can even extend it out all the way over here and we're still breaking out above these uh candles right here so a lot of candles a lot of um you know uh, order blocks right in there so that's that's a good sign so the basically the goal here is to consolidate in here for a little while um, and then you know make a charge continue making a charge to the upside so yeah I think uh, it looks really good now that's one way now if we want to be a little more conservative we can say well I'm not gonna get excited yet until we break this right so we need to break this here this high here right and obviously the, the the last swing high so 
we need to break these two highs and then I'll get excited, right? So that's fair. I mean, a con the conservative will say, yeah, I mean, that's that's a fair assessment. So uh, in which case, let's say it's not finished. Well, what could the count be then? Well, it could still be a triangle. See, the thing about triangles, sometimes you got to adjust them a little bit, right? So instead of the w instead of the E wave being being here, what if we're, you know, going to get the E wave now? So essentially what that would look like is A, B, C, all of this is D, and now we're getting E, and then we go and break out like a madman, okay? So I actually like that a little bit better. Now, you have to respect the daily candle here, though. I mean, that candle is pretty engulfing for a D wave, right? For wave D. So here's the thing. Wave D and or actually wave E, um, you know, they're they're very small. I'll give you an example. L look at this. Look how crazy a wave E could be in relative to time and, and shape and things like that. So let me zoom out. Let me show you this. So look how big this thing is. Look how massive that is. I mean, this is going over like what one uh two two and a half three years oh well, basically so this is a three and a half year triangle here so let me show you the wave e what it looks like so we have an a right we have a b we have we have wave c this is d and this little tiny thing right here is wave e so look how big you know the rest of the waves are compared to wave E. It's very, 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 very tiny, right? So sometimes, you know, wave E's can just be, you know, flag out. It doesn't have to come back down to this lower part of the triangle. So, you know, just keep that in mind. So let's look back at the one hour chart and let's see what we got here. So let me take this off. Okay. So wave E, right, could be, you know, something like this. It could be something like this, right? It could be something like that. Or wave D is done and wave and also wave E is done and now we're ready to go. But for me, which one I like better? Well, I like this better. I'm going to put D here and then I'm going to put E somewhere down here. Right? So what I want to see is us still hold above here but maybe flag out here for a wave e so it's going to be very challenging to kind of identify that because you know how tight it it really gets in here but essentially we want to see three waves so we have one we have two let's come down for three so some type of three wave shape you want to see some type of three wave shape in here um, I mean, this could have been it here, one, two, three. That could have been the E wave, right? But some kind of three wave shape, you know, maybe take out the this liquidity here and then bring it back up. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my main thesis, you know, this Bitcoin update on this Monday. Uh, you know, we have the weekly close. So it's a brand new week. So, you know, volatility should come this week, uh, especially, you know, you know, we're at an inflection point with crypto. This is like do or die, right? This is a big moment for crypto. This is going to decide, are we going to continue to, um, you know, for altcoins, make our way into the retracements or do we have to come down to backtest the base that we broke out of, right? A lot of coins are still in their base, right? For example, uh, you know, Theta broke out of its base. Well, let's look at Filecoin real quick. So Filecoin, right, we're still in our base. So we haven't broken out of it. Now, when you zoom out, this is part of a bigger base you could see here, right? So we're in this little base right here. But this is a much bigger base that we're in. 
So, you know, Filecoin hasn't even begun its uh, retracement, let alone break out of its, uh, you know, uh, its base here. So the main idea that I've been having, right, is for a coin like Filecoin <laughs> to break out and to get into the retracement levels. So when you look at Theta, right, um, we've already done that. Right, we've, we've exceeded that point. So we've broken out of this and now we're making our way towards that retracement level. And that's been basically the main idea. That's, that's what's been going on since October. You can go back and watch the videos back in October of last year. And basically that's when we started saying, okay, this is the time. So um, is it finished, right? Is that all Theta is going to get? Is that all Filecoin is going to get, right? Maybe, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I think there's much more to go. The big question we have, right, the, the, the thing that I was referring to is, number one, let me actually make do it like this, is Theta, and when I say Theta, I mean all the, the whole market, is Theta going to continue to rise this is, guys, this is what it all comes down to right here. So listen to this. This is what it all breaks down to. Is Theta going to continue to rise into its retracement levels? Or, or is it going to break down and backtest this whole area here, which would be very healthy. It would be very healthy, right? And then go to the retracement levels. So that's what it boils down to, guys. So that's sort of where we're at here. I mean, it, it doesn't get any more clear than that. That is basically what everything boils down to. Do we come down and back test this range? Look at this base. We've been building this for what, two and a half years or so, two years. We broke out of it and we could totally come all the way back down and back test the base before continuing to break out or or we've already had a three-way pullback, A, B, C, down to the bull market support band, and now we're building a base on the bull market support band, right? So you can see just like um, how we built a base down in here, right? You can see how we're testing the bull market support band, the same thing's going on now. So, you know, this, this is what it boils down to is 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 this right here so um yesterday i put out a video and i said i bought the dip i said basically you know we are right down at the bull market support band actually let me go back to the daily chart here look at that we have a bullish engulfing daily candle i mean come on theta is giving it to you on a silver platter right especially if you've been following my channel look at this you could have bought the dip on the bull market support band here yet another chance right here yet another chance right here and the crypto gods themselves blessed us with another chance right here so look at that and i took that right i i totally bought the dip uh yesterday because i saw how these candles were coming down and they were creeping 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 Right, so look at all those red candles in a row. You got one, two, three, four, five, six red candles in a row. They're daily candles as well. And they just so happen to touch the bull market support band. I mean, that is a buy all day long. Now, yeah, of course, we could continue to go down, but this is not, you know, going all in on one price. This is strategically picking your dollar cost averaging spots, right? We could totally come back and back test this uh, um, support line right here, right? However, for me not to buy this dip is to say like we're guaranteed to come down. We're not, this is not a guarantee, right? This might be all we get. So you have to pick your spots, right? So if we come down here, then obviously you add more to the position, you dollar cost average. So that's, that's how I'm playing it. 
Um, do I think we're going to go down there? I don't think so. I mean, it's very, very, very possible. And if we do, it wouldn't surprise me at all. And if we did, it would actually be very, very, very bullish. So either way, I'm a happy camper, right? Because if we come out, this is a one, two, three, four, and then we get five, right? Or even more bullish, this is a one, two, one, and then another two, right? Basically the one, two forms, and then the second one, two forms, and then you know it's a one, two if it back tests the previous one, right there. Right, so it'd be one, two, one, two, and then it would be a mega third wave. Um, so it'd actually be more bullish if we did something like this, because it would be, you know, that would mean we wouldn't, we're not in the third wave yet. But then that would mean you'd have to suffer another couple months, right? But at the end of the day, this is a long-term investment, so I'm not really, I don't really care, right? If it comes down or breaks out, my preference would probably be. Um, man, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I'll, I'll get back to you on that. But um, if I had to say, I'd say we're, we're, we're continuing higher. But my preference would probably be we come down. Just, just because it would be a one two one two. That's That's the only reason. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I, I, you know, if you caught yesterday's video, right, we were right on the bull market support man. And I said, look, this is this is a beautiful time. Uh, I probably didn't use those words. <laughs> this is not financial advice, by the way, um, to dollar cost average. So let's zoom in on that and we'll talk about it. So, yeah, we we, we made this weird thing here. So it's sort of like a reverse triangle. How it comes down like that right there. And then you're kind of, it's like a broadening wedge, I guess you could say. And it came down and it, and it, you know, sliced right through it. And I can see these candles starting to play around here. So that's when I said, you know what, let's do it. Um, and we got a significant bounce off the bull market support band, like we've been continuing to do. I mean, look at over here. This is, I don't know why no, everybody doesn't have this indicator. I mean, this is perfect. Even if you're trading, right? You buy the bull markets. Every time it comes down, this is like the best time, the dollar cost average, right? And then when we get back to the top of the range, if you're trading, maybe take some profits. But I would imagine most people are gonna say, hell no, I'm, I'm waiting for, for all time highs and you know, rightfully so. So what, what's Theta doing now? Well, it could also be some kind of, you know, triangle. Um, if you did it like this, A, B, C, D, E. And then we should be going down, right? So if, if, if that's the case, then this is a one, two. And maybe, you know, that's wave three. We're going to pull back for wave four and then continue down. That would be the bearish idea. The bullish idea is to say, no, we're actually, we have a, uh, a low, right? Higher low, higher low, higher low. So we're ascending, right? And then also the resistance is, is parallel, right? So um, that's an ascending triangle right there, which means we're mo more likely to break to the upside, right? And then also, right, how can I forget the theta fractal? So if you didn't, if you missed yesterday's video, I have a brand new fractal to show you. I, I'm not sure if I've showed it before. I, I I may have, but now that it's the the current price is much more developed, we can see it much more clear here. But I really like this right in here. I like how it came down. It had a nice three wave shape. It came down. It grinded down. It didn't impulse down. It was kind of corrective. And then we have a nice bounce off. It reminds me of some kind of spring in here, some type of spring pattern. So uh, not a spring, I'm sorry, a Wyckoff pattern that's in sort of a, a spring phase. So what we have is a three way move, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? We come all the way back down, right? Same thing here. And then we uh, start moving back up, right? Same thing here. Um, 
you could say, well, this is the move up and this is the spring, but I don't really like that. So what I would say is this one, two, three, uh, this three way move here is a move back up. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three. And then what we have is this sort of rounded, you know, there's, there's different schematics, but this is more of like a rounded, uh, you know, more of an accumulation, um, Wyckoff schematic as opposed to you know a spring where you get more of a liquidity grab so I want to see this do the same thing I want to see this kind of round out here like this right maybe it doesn't take that long maybe something more like this right we get back up here and we break out and then we kind of play in here and then we continue to make our way right so something like this Maybe we get a pullback in here because we're going to probably have a lot of resistance in here. Play around a little bit and then pop. So that would be my main idea. There you go. So that's sort of what I'm looking for. Um, now that could totally change if we break this low here. And really if we start breaking the bull market support band. So we're really on support here. And then also a, another indicator to buy yesterday, right, for dollar cost averaging. Hopefully you bought the dip, um, not financial advice, but that was a nice place because of the trend line and because of the bull market support band. So if you didn't catch, if you didn't get a chance to buy, I, you know, you don't want to FOMO and you don't, you know, don't listen to me, but I, if, if, if I was looking to buy, um, you know, it already went up quite a bit here but relative to this whole wave, it, it, it really hasn't. Um, but I would wait for a three wave pullback somewhere. Let's see if I zoom in to the 30 minute. Yeah, I would kind of wait and see what this is doing because we could still come back and revisit the low here, right? I mean, we, so far we don't have a five wave move. It looks like, a, it looks like we're trying to um, maybe it comes up, hits the high, and then we have a three-way pullback, right? Uh, something like that. Um, but I would just kind of wait and see and, and see how it develops. If we have a big impulse to the upside, then you want to wait for a three-way pullback, you know, depending if you're trading or, or just investing. For me, investing, you know, the best time to buy is yesterday right it doesn't really matter if you're a long-term hodler where where you're buying um so you know the difference between two dollars and seven cents and two dollars and fifteen cents it's not too much of a difference uh if you're hodling right so just just be smart about it um uh, just but always know we can i wouldn't go all in that's for sure because we can still come down and back test uh but yeah let's zoom back out and talk about that again here. So yeah, so that's basically the main idea is this sorts of round out, right? We have this Y coffin here, resistance. Something like that. So yeah, that's that's what I got for theta. Let's uh let's move on to let's talk about Shiba. Um, I had a good long on Shiba, but I missed the short, which was very unfortunate because I was waiting for that. It just didn't happen in the right time zone for me. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know about Shiba. I think it's kind of hard to say one, two, three, four, five, maybe some kind of diagonal in here and you get a three-way pullback, maybe you bounce off the bull market support band and then you continue higher. I think we need a little bit of a bounce here, right? If we don't, then we probably need to come back down and back test the bull market support band. But I, I would look for something like that kind of a shape. I mean, it's still very bullish, right? We broke above this downward resistance line let me see is it still broken out let's actually go to the daily here or did it come back in 
It looks like I think it came back in. Let's see. I want to try to get it nice and tight. No, it it's actually still uh, broken out here. Um, yeah, it's still broken out. So, um, yeah, it's probably just going to play around. Looks like it needs a little bit of a bounce, but most likely uh, some more sideways action in here. Because you can see, here's the thing. When you come down, right, you want to build the base, but if the base is kind of angled up, you can see we're angled up. See how it's going up like this? We kind of need a counter wave to balance this wave right here, because we did have five. One, two, three, four, five. We're sort of angled up here. We kind of need to break down a little bit, maybe retest 50% of this, this wave in here. I mean, it looks like we almost hit it already, but it, to me, it doesn't look too so much finished um so yeah we'll have to wait on that i'm doing the meme coins not because i like memes but because when you look at this is your um your DeFi coins your layer one coins your layer two coins and your meme coins right and you can mm -hmm. see look how much more powerful the meme coins were compared to the layer two and even compared to these, right? So the memes have been more, had some pretty strong action here. Now they weren't so strong back over here. Um, it looks like the layer ones were a little more stronger. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I would imagine since, you know, you can see how it alternates here where the layer ones are a little bigger so big and then small. This is small than big, right? So this is big and then small. So it's probably gonna rotate itself. Um, but you know, this is pretty pretty powerful here. So it's it's I'm looking at the meme coins to kind of see um, if there's anything that we can use, um, you know, for the overall market thesis. By the way, I caught um, BCB's video today. I usually don't do the lives. If he does a video, I watch it, but more so um, I don't really catch his lives. It's just, it's just I'm just way too busy. But um, I thought this chart was interesting, um, basically talking about the multiple here. So, um, you know, it, it still says we basically have a little more room to the upside, but we're more close to the end than we are to the beginning. Um, this one here, I took a screenshot, um, basically the, here's the fractal he's been sharing and we're going to show the fractal that we've been sharing as well, but this is the fractal he's been sharing and it basically has confluence to what our fractal is as well, which is very, very good. That's what you want. So yeah, it looks good. Um, we're matched up pretty well. Uh, and then this is another point for the bulls for the altcoins you can see the bitcoin dominance uh well actually it's bitcoin and ethereum dominance minus the stable coins you can see the fractal here we should start um going down you can see how it went down we should hopefully start going down soon and then maybe get a bounce before this bigger bigger drop coming soon so uh yeah and that's what it looks like more up close so we want this to go down in order for the altcoin dominance to go up. Um, and that's another fractal he shared. I don't really like that one. Uh, I liked it in the beginning, but not so much anymore, even though it does point upwards, just the shape of it, sort of a little bit disconnected there. Um, but nonetheless, it's still good for the bulls. So yeah. I uh, even tweeted out yesterday, Theta bounces strongly off the bull market support band. I dollar cost average the bull market support band at 206 and 210. So you can see a um, couple little things there. I mean, we look, we had a five wave move, right? And we had an ABC and we had six red daily candles in a row and we backed off. We, we were on the bull market support band and we had a 618 uh, or a 702 retrace. So all of the qualifications were there to say, okay, this is a good buy. 
you know, so I mean, it looks really, really good here. I mean, I love the way this went down. And then also we had Bitcoin in that triangle as well. So, um, but yeah, I, I just I just really like the way this is shaped here, the way it came down and the way it bounced. I think I think we got some more upside coming here. Um, it doesn't mean today or tomorrow, but I think um, you know. Let's what I would like to see personally is let's build a little bit of a base because you could see here right when you come down you bounce up you come back down you bounce up um here you built you, you had a little bit of a base but it was too early what i would like to see is a little bit of consolidation here let's spend you know if it was up to me i would spend probably i mean it wouldn't hurt for it to be all week down here right for a week i'm not saying that's going to happen it probably won't happen but if we can spend some time down in here, right, and you know have a candle, 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 just develop some sideways base, that would be a nice launch pad to get us out of here. See, if it comes down and it quickly reverses, usually you gas out and you fail. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, but yeah, that's that's good for theta. Let's talk about. By the way, I got your coins for rapid fire um let's, let's let's talk about matic here so matic and filecoin pretty much looking similar here um i did dollar cost average filecoin as well but that trade is actually in the negative right now um you know, I, I, I believe I got it about five. It was it was definitely later than theta. I think it was breaking this here about 582, 583. So I might cut the trade or I might just hodl it. I don't know. Um, but I was expecting a little bit more from Filecoin. I mean, it had a nice looking shape, but you know, sometimes it just don't play out. Uh, or sometimes, you know, it just needs a little more time, you know, a little more time in the oven um, before it's uh, good to go. So, you know, still has this triangle shape to it. And uh, just waiting for the market to make its decision. But here's the thing, like when you talk about Filecoin, it has, or Theta, it has room to go down and back test, right? Because it's, it's up here but filecoin you know it's still in the range so if it breaks down there's nowhere for it to back test except uh ultimately retracing the, the waves here so what we have would be one two three four five and then a b and c right so you would imagine that it would uh, continue breaking out now if it's going to break down then it's going to look like a bigger a wave so you have one two three and then you have a fourth wave triangle and then you come down for wave five so that would be wave a and then you would work your way up for wave b and then you would work your way down for c more likely reaccumulation before breaking out something like that so um, it would definitely take a lot more time. Um, but I, I believe a retracement for Filecoin and for a lot of these coins that are in this position to have some kind of retracement here. I'm not sure if it needs to break down and then go. It, I mean, really, it's going to depend on Bitcoin and all the factors for Bitcoin, you know, the fractal and things like that are pointing up. But the the time and the the wave two and the wave four they're not really matched up with time which suggests you know more uh correcting so you know like i said we're at an inflection point something's got to give now i like matic uh, on the larger time frame it looks like a fourth wave triangle so to me right you have um you have an A, B, C, D, and E. 
So we have that completed triangle. So let's go. Um, that's kind of how I'm looking at that. If we break this trend line here, then it could be a fake out. It could be a liquidity grab. Or it could be um, some kind of WXY structure where you have W, you have an X, and then some kind of Y. So WXY before you break out. So basically a larger three-way move. Dramatic. So again, it, it we're at an inflection point, either up or down then up. It's basically how they, they're all going. Same thing with theta. Here's your breakout level. You can back test it, continue to go up or continue to go up. Um, so this is gonna be come down, you know, not on the larger time frames, but on the smaller time frames, looking at it, you know, hour by hour, minute by minute to see how it, you know, continues to develop here. Uh, XRP. Again, it's it's in this very tight range. It, it, they all look like triangles to me, you know, the shape of them. Um, they all have that that triangle shape, and they're all resting on their on their resistance or their trend lines here. So some of them have a nicer uh, ascending triangle look, like XRP and and theta, and some of them have more of a you know, a, a downward slope, but I, I do like XRP. You know, it's 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 got a very good chance at breaking out. I mean, obviously, it's going to require the whole market, but you know, we're right at resistance here or support. So beautiful trend line here. We had a five-way move: one, two, three, four, five. Right, some kind of diagonal, and then it looks like an A, B, C pullback and it kind of you know the way it moved down very choppiness like you can see these candles up down up down very indecisive um, so it's kind of like coiling up in here and you can see a little base being formed as well and then you see an impulse off of that trend line right so when I zoom in a little further we can start to see uh, let's actually zoom in a little further you know, we're, we're running into the resistance right here, but it's gonna be important to break this. So unless, in, in, in you know, as soon as we break that, I'm gonna feel a lot better. But worst case, you know, we have to come back down in three, right? Because we don't have a five wave move yet. So I'm hoping this is one, two, three, four, and five. So, very, very interesting uh, situation here. So, which way is it gonna break? Is it gonna break up? Is it gonna break down, right? And then back up? That's, that's a tough one there. Um, I would say we need a little more pulling back, a little more correcting, and then, uh, and then go. And then what would we see here? Look at this. Look at this. We have this kind of shape, right? Actually, let me put this up here. Watch this. This would actually look really good. We have a shoulder, we have a head. Let's come on down for another shoulder. We would develop this inverse head and shoulders shape, right? Break out, consolidate, back test a little bit, and then continue higher. Because, you know, we have this move that should be you know at some point retraced so let me put the retracement up um i'm actually going to start it from here this way from the bottom to the uh, from the top to the bottom right at the 382 so i want to see it at some point get back over here to about 52 53 cents um, yeah, let's work our way back. And then if it wants to go back down, right, if it's going to do the bearish idea, then you could do the bearish idea. But from being bearish now, I just don't really see that. So I, I think some more upside is coming, right? But the big winner today 
has to be Bitcoin, I, I, you know, from that daily candle. Um, where are you at, Bitcoin? There we go. But I don't like the shape on the smaller time frames. It's got a weird three wave shape that took out the high. It could be bearish. I mean, this is it right here. I mean, is this is this the you know a good short? Um, you know, for people to execute that short. You know, we we broke here, liquidity grab, right? Um, maybe, right? We so far we have a rise, crash, retrace, reaccumulation, sideways, and then we got the breakout. So I mean, we got it. So it's like, man. But just, you know, something doesn't really feel right about it. Maybe it just needs more time, but it, it doesn't seem like it's finished yet. Something else is going to happen. Um, I think we got FOMC this week. You know, the Federal Reserve stuff. I, you know, we'll see. I mean, we saw how much news came out last month. Let's see how much news comes out this month. However, you know, we're in June right june july august is down right i mean it's not down but it's low volume so you know if this is going to have an expansion phase you're going to need a lot of volume to expand that phase and i just don't know if summer is going to offer as much volume as people think so um i think we're gonna you know if that's the case then we're going to have to wait until October, November, December, right? October, November, December, that's when it's really time to get bullish. So we might see how long this wave two corrected. We might have to spend some more time in here. Right? Right. Uh rise, crash, retrace, reaccumulation, sideways breakout. Rise, crash, retrace, reaccumulation, sideways, breakout, something like that. And look at that on the bottom of the screen. That gets us down to October, November, December down in here. Right? So maybe, you know, here's June, July, August, and then September, and then October, November. And then we start breaking out. I could totally see that. And I, I really like that based off the seasonality, based off this wave two in here, matching up more with wave four, right? So, you know, that's that could be the case. Or it could be something very similar to that, except, you know, we had one, two, three, four, five, and this big correction. This could be one, two, three, four, five, and then we get the bigger correction that takes us into October, November, December, then we break out. So maybe we need another high first and then go sideways all summer before the breakout, right? So I could totally see that happening as well. Basically a plus one, right? We need another wave before we start a correction like this, right? That lasts a good amount of time. Um, so yeah, let's, let's jump into the fractal here. I'm going to jump into the theta fractal as well. So, so here's the fractal here. Um, you know, I can make it a little bigger or a little smaller, but you can see it's still looking really good. Um, I don't care too much about the size. I care more about the structure of, of the waves. So let's see if we can do right. We have this down wave in here right there and actually yeah so we have this down move here right and then we have this um, this basically this double top right here same thing here we have this double top and then we came down we had one two three one two three right and then we came back up um one two right one two one two and then we had uh let's 
let's see. We had this move back up here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right? And then even, I like this wave right here. This little knuckle here. This little knuckle. Uh, looked really good. And then we have, obviously, this correction we're in now. Correction we're in now. So, you know, once this thing plays out, we should see some upside. But look at this. We had this big fake out to the downside. So that was interesting. So um, let's see. Can we make it a little bit bigger here? Um, you know, this one, we have this three-wave move, three-wave move. But it went into this sort of cylinder, this accumulation cylinder. This one's more like a triangle. So, you know, different different type of correction. But ultimately, uh, the fractal, I would imagine something like that if it's going to play this fake out thing here. So, yeah, I think it still looks very good for the Bitcoin fractal. So, unless, you know, if we start to break, and you could see this one here we broke below this area here. So this one actually didn't break it. So that's actually pretty good. But if we start breaking this, this pink in here, down in, right here, then it's gonna be obviously invalid. So we'll keep an eye on it. So this leads me to the six month chart. Look at this. We have 30 or 27 days left. So in one month, the six month candle is gonna close. So that's a big deal. Um, and it'll be the highest six month close in the history of Bitcoin. So right here, let's see, the, the all time high close was only $46,000. So think about that. The highest six month close in Bitcoin's history is all is not even 50 is not even 50k so that's incredible so there you go so look at that we have a massive bullish breakout here um so we have 30 days left and all we need to do is close above 47k so i mean actually it would be uh we really want to close above this wick in here as well so we're actually right at that resistance. Um, but yeah, we have a beautiful engulfing candle here. So let's keep it that way. And that'll bring me into XRP. Look at this. Here's our six month candle on XRP. I mean, we are literally smack in the middle of this entire thing. I mean, it's incredible how, let's see if I put this channel up here. Yeah, look at that. We're right, you know, we're basically right at the mean here. Um, let's put this. So, you know, a lot could happen. And then also XRP, right, is, is also in a triangle, right? You have A, B, C, D, and now we're in E. So, I mean, this could be the big moment here. Just like how we had A, B, C, D, and this thing here was E, right? Same thing here, A, B, C, D, and now we have this pretty big thing here for E. Um, and wave E in itself is also a triangle, right? So we also have a triangle here, A, B, C, D, E, but I don't like it at all and it's most likely invalid because wave E took out the wave C low so it's really not so much of a triangle probably more some some kind of WXY correction but any way you look at it I mean we're really resting here on su support and we're basically in a very tight range in here I mean, this is where volatility occurs, right? When you have volatility slowing down and you're basically in a very tight range. And then, you know, a lot of times you break out. So, 
a lot of times the first breakout is actually the fake out. You can see all these other times here, these wicks, fake out, fake out, fake out, right? So we could also have fake, you know, we had fake outs to the downside as well. So, you know, just be, you know, it'll make you think it's ready, let's go. But then, you know, it comes back inside and continues to correct. But, you know, I've been comparing it to down in here. So you can see this line right here, right? We're resting support. And then you can see we had the liquidity grab. The question is, if we come down, do we get a liquidity grab? Or technically we could have already gotten it. Um, but yeah, this is our reaccumulation zone. And this whole thing is our reaccumulation zone. Right, so it's looking pretty primed for something to happen. Like I said, we're at a big inflection point. This is do or die here. So um, if we do come down, you know, we'll finish out that wave, and it'll most likely be uh, one, two, three, four, five. A, B, one, two, three, four, and then five. So we need a five wave move here, or it's a W X Y. Um, so that's, you know, that's, that's a tricky, very, very tricky. I mean, if you just look at Litecoin here, I mean, look at this, it's like, it's basically on the edge of a cliff. Well, not literally a cliff, but it's, it's basically on the edge here of the bull market support band. So you you know you have this huge engulfing candle. You would think you got to retrace at some point, right? If we come up here and retrace and then go down, then it's it's not going to look so good. I mean, Pepe, uh, to me, and uh, you know, I would imagine needs to come down for a back test. Obviously, it could keep going, but that's a tough one. I, I would say it needs to come down. QNT has just been a disaster. Okay, so now this this is the grand finale here, uh, the total three. So this is what you know. This is the main chart that we all need to focus on here. Um, total three and Bitcoin, in my opinion, are the two most important charts that will dictate where Theta goes, XRP, right? So right off the bat, total three very very tight range here look at this and then we broke out of that range and now we're back testing on top right we're building a base on top of our base we're basically continuing to back test it retest it right um so that's good and uh you know the idea is to find some support and continue making our ascent, right? I mean, technically we already had a 618 retrace right here. You can see we hit it. Um, so the, the goal here is to get back above it and uh, clear the 702, 70, 786, and 886. So that, that's basically the big goal. But what I really wanted to show is just a little update here on the daily chart right we have a nice three wave shape here something like that we have a little base and then we broke out of that base so let's see uh, let's see how she goes but what I what I also wanted to show is this over here basically an update on our fractal which is down in here so there we go I mean if you haven't seen this fractal, I mean, it's been absolutely killing it. It's it's actually the best fractals um, that, you know, we got here. So, I mean, every single move from here to here, all throughout here, it's been very, very accurate. So, you know, we did get a little bit of a deviation here, right? We were supposed to come down, but it kind of went flat. So I'm wondering if that's you know we have to do this so let me bring this up so 
So basically we have to do this. We'll come up here and then we kind of flag out in here a little bit and then go. So yeah, something like that where you know we kind of form this channel in here. You know, let's get up here a little bit, form this channel, break out, and then continue to rock and roll. Right? Or the channel could be already done, right? But I'm not so sure about that. I still think it needs a little bit more time uh, to mature, but I, th you know, we're still very, very looking pretty good here. Bull market support band bouncing off, right? Higher, higher highs, higher lows. So, yeah. And then another, th the other fractal is uh, theta, but just real quick here on theta fuel. Look at that, we have a daily nine, I forgot to talk about that, uh, a couple days ago. So we had a daily nine buy, right there. So what I wanna see for theta fuel is a break above these red dots, right? Let's break above those red dots. Maybe let's form a base here first and then uh, break out. That would be nice to see. But yeah, so far with Theta Fuel, everything's still, everything's still nice and bullish. I mean, it could still even qualify as a head and sh uh, inverse head and shoulders here, right? Because I'm still looking at it as a running flat, A. We come up for B, we come down for C, and then we have a one, right? and then an ABC pullback, and then we have another one, and then a pullback. So we don't we don't wanna break this low, but if we did, we have the bull market support band here, and then what I would do is just say this whole thing is a three-way move, so A, B, C, before going higher. So, yeah, it, it seems like a lot of the charts are saying the same thing, up or down then up. I mean, but Ethereum, looks like it needs more downside it doesn't look finished unless this is a running flat right we have an a we have a b we have a c right and now we're kind of building a base in here one two maybe and then it starts to grind up that uh, that could happen but the way this is looking here it kind of looks like it needs to do that uh i'm not sure We'll have, to, we'll have to keep an eye on, on Ethereum. On one hand, it's forming a base. We do have that running flat look. But on the other hand, uh, let me see if I zoom in. There's really not much detail in here. It's very choppy. So kind of have to wait and see. Um, We did break this trend line. Kind of looks like some kind of triangle here that failed. So yeah, it looks like it's coming down here. Let's let's see if we'll we'll hold this low. That's what we want to see. If we can hold the low and get a strong bounce, then you know we'll we'll change we'll change it. Just scanning through here, ADA actually looks pretty decent here we got a little inverse head and shoulders we have a bullish engulfing candle look at the one hour candle looks good and then when i zoom out oh yeah that, that, that does look good so so far ada is kind of my favorite chart right now just based off where it is right i mean it looks pretty good we had this and it also like a wyckoff we had this beautiful wave here we came down we came back up without taking out the high we have this nice rounded structure let's see if it continues to round out and i would imagine you know some resistance here at the bull market support band and then a breakout yeah i i like uh i like ada right now i mean you know it could change we're it run a very you know a, a do or die situation but so far, it looks pretty strong. We got a lot of resistance here, though. So I want to see us clear that resistance. We might need to come back down here 
and reset a little bit and then make our way. I could see that happening. A little shoulder, head, another shoulder here. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, here's our last thing, our, uh, the Theta Fractal. And look at the Theta Fractal. It actually looks pretty good. Now, just ignore this top here. This top was a lot more exuberant. But what I'm looking at is the correction itself. And the correction itself looks pretty dang good. Um, we have this three-way move up, three-way move up. Uh, come on down, come on down, right? Do a little hoop, little hoop. Then we hit the high, we hit the high. We come on down and flag out. Or we come down and build the base. Now we're coming down, let's build the base. Break out, maybe a little fake out, and then continue higher. So if I match that up, yeah, it looks pretty good there for Theta. And uh, so we'll, we'll talk more about the Fractal. I can't really offer anything else. I mean, you know, uh, watch yesterday's video. Um, but yeah, I, you know, we're, we're at that moment here. Um, but, you know, six days of red candles and we're bouncing off. I'd say it's a little, I'd say we, We've got a little bit of upside potential here. Maybe maybe some consolidation and upside. But a lot of the charts, they seem like uh, they're at that sort of balance point of up or down. Um, but if I had to guess, I would say more pointing up on the macro front. And, uh, you know, the rapid fire coins, I'm going to get into that sometime this week. And, uh, yeah, that'll do it for this video. Uh, remember, not financial advice. And if you guys could, hit that like button. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.